Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, the channel of the Italian guy. Today the fourth and I really hope the last chapter, the last recipe on the uh, keto pasta. I made a poll, I uploaded a poll last week about uh, choosing the next video recipe and uh, as you can see the keto pasta is the winner with 51% of the votes. But don't get desperate, those of you who have chosen uh, keto pancake, uh, coconut pancake and uh, keto Italian uh, pizza flavored bagels, we'll see them in the next two reci video recipes. So don't worry, I'm thinking about you as well. So after the, the video with uh, uh, pasta keto, uh, pasta with almond flour, uh, keto almond pasta with bamboo fiber, uh, mozzarella and uh, egg uh, yolk only, uh, passatelli and also gnocchi with pumpkin. Today the last video, I hope, <laughs> about pasta. <laughs> Keto pasta. So let's see straight away as I did it. How I did it. Sorry. Okay, here we are. So first ingredients. 80 grams of uh, flax seeds, flour, golden, it's better golden flax seeds, 20 grams of bamboo fiber, one tablespoon of xanthan gum. Is it really necessary? Is it really needed? Follow me until the end of the video and I will tell you. Two pinch of salt. I will teach you a trick. We have to put uh, two eggs, so one pinch of salt for each egg. Let's combine the dry ingredients well together. It's really important to do this. A quick stir. We mm, remove also the lumps. And then we add the liquid ingredients, the eggs. Are the eggs really necessary? Well, you could uh, replace them with simple water, but since this is a keto recipe, we want to add some keto ingredients and eggs are the most complete ingredient ever in nature so we put also protein fat vitamins and whatever let's start combining the mixing everything together i use my hands at first the dough will uh, turn out to be sticky and uh, wet but go on look at my hand the right uh, end is dirty, so to say, and the left one is completely clean. Because in the meantime, the bamboo fiber and the um, flax seed flour absorbed the, the liquid of the, from the eggs, you see? So keep kneading the dough, keep kneading, and uh, you see, until the, um, the, the, um, the counter the worktop is, is, uh, is clean. I left it to stay for a while, 15 minutes, to rest for a while, 15 minutes, not in the fridge, in the um, room temperature. And then I put some bamboo fiber on the um, worktop to stretch the dough. I'm not an expert on this regard, but what I can tell you, try to stretch the dough as thin as possible. Because when you will cut the tagliatelle, like this, there will be, if you, have, if you haven't stretched the dough uh, as thin as possible, they will result to be too thick. You can... Yeah, so try to cut, to stretch them with the rolling pin as thin as possible. I also tried the pasta machine, it didn't work so well, maybe the, the dough was too wet. You can try. You can try maybe the day uh, the day before for the day after, and I would be glad if you can tell me in the comments if it works. Look, look at the magic. It's better to use xanthan gum. Now I will show you the orecchiette. Orecchiette is a, sh a pasta shape that we have in the Puglia region, the hill in uh, in Italy, South Italy, and uh, you have to make uh, how can I say in English uh, snake. So cut a small piece of dough and keep rolling it on the, on the board until it becomes uh, thin and long. N not too much thin, of course. This size, one, I think less than uh, 
one centimeter round. I don't know in imperial measurements. I'm talking about with metric measurement. measurement. Yeah, you see the magic of the Gazantan gun, but I know that Americans, uh, in, American people and uh, people uh, not from Italy, they know about Gazantan gun. That, that, that's new for us, the Gazantan gun. But Quito was much before in the uh, in US than Italy. Has been much before. Okay, let's cut the, uh, the dough in small chunks, as you can see. And now I will show you the trick, the, the method that I showed you already in uh, the third video, if I remember, of the, about pasta. That's the same way that uh, the grandmothers from Bari, from Puglia, the region, the Italian region that resembles the hill, uh, they do. You, know, you, you see, I will show you again. Take a chunk of dough, put the, the knife 30 degrees, an angle of 30 degrees, and uh, push and roll and then uh, reverse it put it upside down and you go on i'm not uh, so fast as them because i don't eat, um, i don't like eat, uh, pasta in uh, in keto honestly i prefer meat fish and some other uh, food uh, dry dry fruit you know nuts anyway thanks to the help of my assistant assistant i will uh, teach you another way to do the orecchiette, easier, much easier than the way the first method I showed you. Keep, take your thumb and just with the point of the thumb, push, push the chunk of uh, dough and then roll a little bit down. And that's it. They are orecchiette as well, a different shape, but they are orecchiette. <laughs> okay, now that we are ready, we go, on the, on the stove and we will cook them. So when the weather boils, put some salt and uh, throw the orecchiette inside. When do we have to take them out of the water? Easy, like the gnocchi. Uh, when the orecchiette uh, float on the top of the water, it means that they are ready, they are cooked. And we wait for all the others to come on the top of the water. And what, yeah, you see, some of them are already coming on the top, they're floating on the top. It means that they're ready, ready to be tasted. And that's it. Enjoy! Yeah, we are. We have a simple dressing for this pasta with uh, capers and fresh tomato with uh, black olives. I have to say that it's delicious. The taste of the uh, flax seed flour is covered, widely covered by the dressing we have used in this case. And it really resembles the pasta. More the wholesale pasta, the taste. So I can say thumbs up, double thumbs up. Uh, so the Xantan gum. Okay, uh, the, the question is if you have to uh, knead the dough and uh, make some special uh, patterns with the pasta, some special shapes, you need the xantan gun because it makes the dough elastic and uh, more uh, compact. If you don't have to make any special shape like tagliatelle, you just stretch the dough with a rolling pin and then you cut, you can go for it. Then you throw uh, uh, straight away the tagliatelle into the boiling water. That's it. Uh, I think I have, I have told you everything. Any questions, please use the comments box below and uh, subscribe. So follow me on Instagram as well, if you like, and uh, share the video with your friends. That's it. I hope you liked it. Good pasta. <laughs> bye bye. See you next recipe with the, the coconut pancakes and then the Italian bagels pizza flavored. Bye. <laughs>